We are pleased to welcome back the party animal, Hector Neris. Uh, welcome back to the show. First question I have for you. Oh, I'll also welcome to your translator as well. Can we get your name real quick? Okay, good to meet you. Thanks for coming on. First question to Hector. Are you still partying as hard? <laughs> That's what I said uh, last time. I never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Siempre estás en la rumba, entonces. Yeah. Ajá. Mucho fiesta. Listen, I want to ask you because we we talk about baseball later. I don't care about the baseball. I want to know how your farm is doing, the ranch is doing in Dominican, how many horses and how many cows you got again. Let everybody know. Hey. I have great, I have big news now, like, uh, yesterday my guy called me, they born, uh, 10 cows born the same day. <gasps> this is good news for me. What? 10? Yeah. Mucho yeah, dinero! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know. What? Yeah, they have a group, like, yeah, because it's the great news, because I have a group, have to, uh, supposed to be out to the farm to sell it, and the new, the new family coming at the same moment, and say, this is God bless me. Oh, yeah, bro. Hey, heck, congratulations that is awesome. On that. Congratulations on the cows. Thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Hey, can you teach me how to ride a horse a little bit better? Because I like riding the horses, oh, but I get a little sore underneath, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do it here, but if you want to know, come to me to the bin again. Yeah, all right. Really? Me, me Millar, and Sierra will make our way down there. Oh I my God. from the farm. Uh, you're, uh, you're working there. Can we? Can we? Add, yeah. Can we? Can we go visit him, guys? Is this possible? Can, yeah, can we, we make can this stay happen? It's me, Sandra. Hey, my door is open. Yeah, hey. my farm is open for you. <gasps> oh my oh, gosh! We can hang out with That's the baby so cows. Nice. Yeah, uh, whatever it. you want. Hey, I got a question. You know, listen. You've had a really good career. This year, you were off the chart. You've been off the charts. Good. So good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. An unbelievable season. What What's been the difference for you this year compared to previous seasons? Uh, you know, uh, try to be healthy, try to be strong. That's the, the priority, like, come in and pitch and attack the hitter, attack my, my stream, try to do, like, the eliminate the more mistake I can. And this is one of the, the, the key for, for how, like, the year they got give it to me, I think. Uh, the Astros, too, the pitch, the staff, they give it to me, like, how they speak to me. Uh, they open to, to have this. Okay, Good so for you. yeah, it's awesome, and I'm sure that throwing back, you know, a couple tequila drinks or what do you like? Do you, what is your drink of preference? Johnny hey, Walker. that keeps uh, the like brasso nice and loose, you know. All right, the tequila anyway. is good. I like uh, uh, the 18. The 18. 1800. Uh -huh. 1800. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. a little, a it little cuervo. Uh, I like that one, Williams. Yeah. Uh, and the Brugal, Plaza never Azul for me. Brugal, yeah, yeah of Brugal. course. Hey, never Ooh, nice. forget. <laughs> we all, we all love Evan Williams, and we also like Brugal too. So, uh, n next question: Christian Javier, of course, nicknamed El Reptil, the reptile, right, has been quoted as saying his favorite reptile was the crocodile because they seem Ooh. like they're calm. So, Hector, what is your favorite? Reptile. What is your reptile favorite? Javier. <laughs> 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 That's so good, Bobby. <laughs> hey, I know. Listen, <laughs> my question is going to be a little bit easier. I know you look the hey. best with the cowboy hat on because you're the true cowboy. Who on the team might look the second best on Presley. your team? Presley. Really? Yeah, Lick Presley. It, because you leaned over. Well, right that there. day. Yeah, but that day, Framber looked good. Framber. Framber. Yeah, yeah, they look good that day. Yeah. They, okay. Hey, he has spent time. He has spent time that day to dress like better to anybody. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. I came uh -huh. unprepared. I got a Stetson. 2013 World Series champion Stetson. I should have had it today. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. Um, but one thing I'm not disappointed in, Hector, the way you treat the fans. 
Mm. Always going yes. down the bullpen, yes. throwing out autographed baseball. Talk about your relationship with the fans in Houston. Uh, you know, I like I like this. This is one of the favorite part uh, to be connecting to this guy because this is important uh, for us. This is the guy like coming to support. The baseball happened because they coming to see, they coming to support us. This is like the more important spot uh, uh, for me and the other guy. If you bring him to good moment to come again to give living in the mind, I, I think it's uh, open the door to to keep call the people to watch the game and support any team, uh, this sport and any sport in the world. Yes, yes, well said, well said. This is exactly why me Sangare, I wanted to have you on the show. And give me one, one more question from me. It's just give me one, how are you gonna get the boys fired up to get one game today? Because I know when we were going through a little bit of a battle back in the day, I want to play some loud music. I want to get everybody in the training room. I want to get everybody with their shirts off. What's the one thing that you're going to get the boys going today to get on the scoreboard? You know, this group is very special. This group, they know what they have to do. They know, like, the exciting they have to be to, to come to uh, play the game. They don't need too much. They only have to be focused. They only come in to, to the line and, and say, it got it one of that game. I don't need to do anything extra. Just keep doing what I'm doing in the past. Just try to follow the, the right line and keep in this line. And I think they'd be good after the game and the next three game here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I know one thing you could do, just bat Jordan Alvarez first, because every time he hits, the ball goes over the wall. <laughs> Talk about that guy, man. Wow. Hey. Big He's like hey, Big Poppy Jr. Yeah, you remind Big Poppy when he's good, when he hit it and everybody waiting for something. Yeah. Oh, if, uh, he's the guy, you know, when he's there, like, they give you uh, confidence to the team to know, like, something can happen because he's one of the guys, like, when he go to home play, you believe him, you know they have something in the, in the bag for us to help him. Sometimes, you know what I hear, just he want to walk, and he, got, he have a he's a very athletic guy. Yeah, yeah he's him. Kevin. Mm -hmm. Tell him what David Ortiz told you about Jordan Alvarez. Yeah, I texted him afterward. He said, bro, he, he is a gangster. He's exactly <laughs> maybe better than me because this guy, he obviously reminds a lot of people about Big Poppy, but Big Poppy, I texted him. I said, bro, he's you, bro. He hits good pitching. Yeah, he is. I think I think he have a lot of things with the Big Poppy, but it, with Jordan do, with Jordan show the people, it's like incredible because every day you see Jordan, you like they, they give you something to you say, wow, it's him. Yeah, it's, it's normal because he can hit like anything. He like the ball side and the three side and the ball part, right, left and center. And when you saw that, the people like him got power uh, running, uh, got mm -hmm. passion in the home play. You when I'm pitcher, when I saw that, the guy faced me and say, hey, I have to execute the pitch because it like. If you are throwing the mural, he, he, I'm paying for that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Before we let you go, Hector, <clears throat> one last thing. It is time for Secret uh -oh. Santos. This uh -oh. is the part of the show where you tell us a secret about yourself that nobody knows. Oh, maybe a good dancer. Uh, uh, maybe I like cooking. Ooh, what? I like cooking. Ooh, what do you cook? Uh, I cook everything. Okay. I, yeah, but well, I like the grill. I make grill. Grilling? And yeah. What, and my off day, what about your boy? I, I like my, my boy, they like it. I want to ask him, what's he like? What's the secret? Ooh, probably some mango. Oh, yeah. Mango is a lot of meat. He is a great cook. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, no, no. So you're yeah. saying you're you're validating this that he is a great cook. That his mangu, his salami, like a little bit of tres golpes or what? Uh, what? Like three and four too. <laughs> <laughs> tres golpes. See, now right. we got it. We're gonna go down to the Dominican. We're gonna go to the ranch. We're gonna ride horses. He's gonna teach me how to ride one nice. He's gonna cook us a nice dinner. We're locking it we're in. The oil, this right here. I want the plantains. The whole thing. Yeah, Whatever we, you want. <laughs> we can figure out how to um, keep your inner thighs from getting chafed as well, Dan. 
Hector Neris, Thank thanks so much that. for joining the Watch show. We appreciate the time. Best of luck tonight, okay? Yeah, good luck. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You, Bobby. Thank you.